Girl, it's trouble in paradise. Let's talk about Drake. Everybody's talking about him. Did you guys see what was going on, honey? Drake and his father. Girl, it's nasty. Nick Cannon, what you doing, Nick Cannon? Nick Cannon being another Oprah. Remember Oprah? She she got in Monique's business and had Monique family members interviewing Monique's family about sensitive stuff. Yeah, girl, so that's what Nick Cannon is doing to Drake. Girl, make sure you guys like this video, share this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Gossip Girl, XOXO, hold on. You know you love me, and I love you guys too. Welcome, Gossip Community. I am your host, Miss Shiji, so let's get right on into it. So Drake father did an interview, right? Now, he was doing an interview with Nick Cannon, and Nick Cannon brought up, you know, how he treated Drake as a kid. Because I guess Drake, I don't listen to his music. I may listen. To, I'm not a fan of nobody. I told y'all that. I'm not a fan, so I really don't know what's going on with Drake, okay? But um, Drake has said some awful things about his father, about his upbringing, and Nick Cannon was questioning that. And he's, the father said how he deal with it was he asked Drake straight out. He said, well, Drake, you know, why are you saying this negative stuff about me? I just can't deal with it. And he said that Drake said, father, it makes sales. It's making music, right? They both start laughing. Drake comes out and he says, listen, this is awful. You know, he said everything I wrote was the truth. And it's sad that you have your own family that's out here trying to sabotage your credibility. But we see it all the time. We see him with Rihanna father. We see it with all these celebrities' parents, right? And it's just so sad. And who do you guys think? Do you guys believe Drake or do you guys believe the father? I don't know none of them, but I feel like this right here, okay? Now, if you are a father or a parent, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day it's all subjective because I can't say all fathers would do X, Y, and Z because that's not true. But I can say from my expectation, what I would think a loving father or a protective parent would do, they would not do that interview. If my daughter or son told me, mommy, I said some awful things and I did it for, a view, you know, for views, and I know he takes his job seriously, I wouldn't go on the radio and say, well, you know, he said he just did it for views. I think that's selling my kid out and I'm protective and I'm loving, so I wouldn't do that. You know, especially when he's giving me the money. Well, not especially. If my son was famous and he didn't have any money, well, he had a whole bunch of money, he ain't give me shit. I don't believe that my kid does, you know, owes me to give me money. I did my part. Kids are not asked to be on this earth. You know, I feel parents are obligated to protect, love, and nurture these kids. But I don't feel like these kids, when they grow up, are obligated to, you know, do the same, you know? It's your choice. You do, of course. It'd be nice. But, you know, they have that the thing, the cycle of life, how... You take care of your kid, and your kid will take care of you. I don't see that happening with a lot of these situations. And I don't feel like the, do the kid is obli you an adult, okay? I don't know. Maybe I'm harsh, but no, I wouldn't put that pressure on the kid, especially if I'm up in age. The pressure of a kid, you know, an adult, my son, daughter taking care of me, I would not. I would save money to have good housing, people that is professional taking care of me. And I would have to see my daughter and son come visit me whenever. I still want them to live their life. I don't want to be bombarded with having them to always take care of me. I want y'all to do y'all dreams, okay? I'm going to make enough money so when it comes time, because we all going to go through the time, you know? And if you don't go through the time, maybe you die beforehand. But um, I think I set up a good sum of money, so I'll be well taken care of. And I want to be taken care of by professionals. I've seen how mothers or daughters and cousins treat their relatives, taking care of them. It's a, it's a lot of drama. 
They don't take care of them the way they should. I know I'm picky. I get on people's nerves. I'm very bitchy. I'm demanding. So for that, I need somebody that's professional to take care of me. Okay? That's just how I roll. Okay? But anyway, and I just feel more comfortable. Okay? Yeah. All right? Because I don't want to get into it. My son and my daughter, I don't want to get into it. Okay? <laughs> so anyway, let's get back to the story. That's how I feel. I don't, I, I would not out situation. I feel like Drake father's probably lying. The reason why I say that, because if he did tell you that as a secret, you would keep it as a secret. But if you want to change the narrative around, I mean, that's one way to discredit him and to get your, your name more popping, I guess not popping. Cause then ain't Drake trying to father trying to be in music. So he's going to do whatever he can to sell records. So I don't know. Drake father seemed like he's more about himself than thinking of, you know, I am his father. I'm still representing him. Everything I do in the public light, is going to be a reflection of what people think of Drake, you know? I don't know, but is he obligated? I guess not, but shit, that's how I would grow. If my family member was more famous than I was and I was heavily connected with them, you know, I just wouldn't do certain things because I want to be protective of my relative's image and reputation. I don't want to be out here just acting silly or just doing stuff that's going to embarrass them in hopes for me to get more viewership. I just don't roll like that. But anyway, comment, let us know what you guys think, and let's play this audio. Bye. There's amount of time where my father wasn't around, but then obviously me and my pops is super cool now. Right. Is there, do you have to deal with any of that, that stuff from like the upbringing of Drake and him kind of living in, uh, in Toronto without you at times? We hear it in his lyrics sometimes. I, uh, I, I had a conversation with Drake about that. I have uh, always been with Drake. Mm. I talk to him, if not every day, every other day. Wow. Um, and we we really got into a deep conversation about that. Um, I said, Drake, why are you saying all of this uh, different stuff about me, man? Like, uh, uh, this is not cool. Uh, he goes, Dad. It sells records. <laughs> uh, so, okay, well, cool. Huh? I wish my dad was that amount of time where my father wasn't around. But then, obviously, me and my...